the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option, coming to you courtesy of Immaculata Productions. I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. Um, lovely to see you again after after I, my holidays. I was away for a few weeks, stayed in Ireland. Uh, the very restful, very wet, um, but but pleasant. Yeah, nice a nice a nice break. I know that a few of you have been a bit exasperated with me for apparently not saying anything on. Um, with regard to Paris, the Olympic, the opening of the Olympics, the whole bit, you know, the Dionysian sort of effort, uh, the uh, traducing out the, you know, you could call it blasphemy. It, it, well, yes, it was blasphemous. The allusion to the Last Supper. I don't disagree with you on that. Okay. I thought it was um, disgraceful. I thought it was adolescent. I thought it was disappointing in such a great people. I would point out to you that the French have form in this. You go back as far as 1793 and the revolution was being celebrated in that opening. Yeah, You go back as far as 1793 and you will recollect the feast uh, of the, the um, coronation of the, the goddess of reason uh, in, in Notre Dame Cathedral and the desecration of the cathedral with this... Um, young lady dressed up as the personification of reason, the goddess of reason, and all the rest of it. Um, And, and, I mean, there is a strong anti-clerical tradition in France, and there is a genuine darkness in the revolutionary tradition that admirers of that tradition have never been willing, really, to acknowledge. And I would put it to you, that it may be a mistake on all our parts to focus too much on the execrable taste of of that uh, Last Supper scene, for want of a better word. The Last Supper slash Dionysian scene, okay? It may be a mistake. That may be, however repulsive, a distraction. Much more interesting point is the uh, characterization of the murdered queen young queen, Marie Antoinette, who was judicially murdered. Actually, you could barely say judicially because it was a travesty of a judicial process. Um, Having been accused of a whole lot of stuff she hadn't done. Really awful stuff. Shocking stuff. Yeah, including incest, which nobody believed, by the way. Not her judges, not the people in the street. Nobody believed that. Um, Or hardly anyone. And she was uh, dragged to the guillotine and put to death, like her husband, the king. So that was being made a joke of, uh, some sort of uh, sophisticated joke of, uh, in in the opening, in the presentation, with the murdered queen holding her head. Now I'm telling you, that's much more telling than the Last Supper scene. We knew about that. We knew how the French can get about these things sometimes, or some of the French, maybe many of the French, and they are paying the price for that. Because even as they mock the very source of their greatness, which is their Christian heritage, even as they mock it, their their society is being rapidly um, undermined. Their society is being rapidly undermined and subverted. There is a massive cultural subversion going on in France, and they know it. But it was much more telling. Consider what was being made a a, a, a civilised irony of a joke. Consider. Between 70 and 80,000 judicial executions. Not to mention the innumerable murders which weren't documented. Yeah? Not, not, not to mention the revolutionary wars which it gave rise to and all the dead in those. Not to mention all the dead of the Bonaparte uh, era. And I accept that Napoleon was in many respects a very great man. But his continual wars uh, led to terrifying death tolls for the time. Not to mention any of that. No. This is made a joke of. Listen to me. The left are by nature 
by ideological nature killers on a huge scale. Now, human beings are killers. We're all killers. But nobody can unlock the door to that foul dungeon like the left have. Only the left have really let it rampage. Yeah, that killing in modern times. And so, of course, you had you had communism and everyone says, oh, you know, that was Stalin. Stalin was a monster. No, Stalin was a faithful pupil of his master, Lenin, who just didn't live long enough to really get down to, to some serious killing, but had shown a willingness to kill, 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 uh, no matter do do no matter what, or as the French say, n'importe quoi. Do whatever do whatever it took to get to one's goal. And then, of course, you had Stalin, former student for the priesthood, God bless the mark, and all his millions and the famines. And then, of course, we have Mao, conservative estimate, something around forty million dead in his reign. Yeah, that's including famine, enormous famines. Famine, famines are a particular weapon of the left. Let's not forget uh, the killing fields of Cambodia. And then we come on to Adolf Hitler, who started as a communist and was a socialist, national socialist, Nazi, national socialist, remember? And Mussolini, who started as a socialist. You can, you can argue with me until you go blue in the face, but actually the conservative right, just the plain old, uh, you know, porridge made with milk, uh, conservative right, um, have, have nothing like the record of killing that the left have. Everyone thinks of Hitler as right wing. Look into it. Look into it. Don't 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 uh, don't don't be tempted by to a superficial judgment there. And that was being celebrated. I know, of course, obviously, Nazism was not being celebrated there, uh, co openly or even consciously, maybe. But it's included if you're if you're if you're fair, if you're reasonable, if you look at the history, it ends up being included. Listen to me. That was what was really chilling about that display. Now we see in numerous countries, we see, we see the left in full force. But even where we don't see the left in full force, we still see the left in full force. We heard nothing but Giorgia Maloney. Giorgia Maloney, she was, she was uh, Mrs. Genghis Khan, as far as the European Union was concerned, yeah? as far as von der Leyen was, work, was concerned. Now, she's besties with Ursula von der Leyen. Oh, come off it. Yeah, this is, this is an age of the left. It is an age of big government. And our free range days could possibly be over. I just want to warn you of that. And I see the alternative not as fascism, not as, as anything like that, which I just see as another manifestation of the left, of the government, the government, the government. Everyone wants a government. You can't have chaos, for goodness sake. Everyone wants a government. But we don't want to be nannied out of our minds. We don't want to be watched every minute. We don't want to be told what to do every, on every little detail. There are no dogmas in temporal matters. No, no, we, need, we, need, we really need to start becoming more alert as citizens. And look, please don't start dismissing me as, as again, I've said this before, as some sort of farm right maniac, because I'm bringing this up. Uh, I am attempting sanity. I am having a shot at sanity. The exercise of sane argument. I, I recommend it. You know, go back to Edmund Burke. All I'm asking for is common sense. I, I, I know it's common sense at a high level. That's fair enough. But it's still common sense. All I'm asking for is, is what should be obvious to anyone. 
is that you need a form of government that recognizes individual rights and the distinctive uh, individu the individuality of local communities and areas that respects to an extent traditions, that respects religion, that, uh, that respects origins, that has a pietas in the classical sense, a piety towards the origin, and the origin of Western Europe is Christianity. Yeah? Now, all right, if you don't agree with me, there is a comment section, and you'll, you'll be very welcome there. Uh, I actually, I think, personally, get away with murder in the comment section. Hardly anyone has been really nasty to me, and most of you are the soul of courtesy, if you, even if you don't agree with me. But I'm not asking you to start being nasty. I'm just thanking you for that and saying that I certainly uh, should, should be open. And I read them all. I read every single comment. Sometimes I read them a few times and I think about them. Because some of them are excellent. I certainly should, should be open to that. But I'm telling you now, that Olympic debacle, and a debacle as far as I'm concerned, the opening of the Olympics. I mean, all right, later on, obviously, I'm delighted the Irish did well at it. Uh, that's wonderful, but the opening was significant. If you're going to get upset, by all means, get upset at the blasphemy, but there is form for that, it's old hat. Right? Look more deeply. That was a celebration of the revolution. Realise what the revolution is. Realise uh, of what these Jacobins are capable the contempt for Christianity, the profound, um, the profound ingratitude that characterizes that, uh, that, that attitude, as if we came from nowhere. Hmm? Um, I, I cannot urge you too strongly to awake. You should be woke. Eh? You should be woke. We should all be woke, but perhaps not in a way that would please Miss Harris. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.